What's up, Hypey family? Coach Scott Zinski here again. We're on our 10th installment of our at-home video series. We're gonna be doing some at-home strengthening today. All you need is a volleyball and a good open area to do it. And you're gonna be able to do some really cool stuff to get that lactic acid moving. You've been stuck at home all day long and you gotta make sure you get it moving. So when we get back into the court, we can really be at our peak potential and maximize every repetition on the volleyball. We're gonna show you three different exercises that you can be doing. We got the agility ladder out today. You don't need one of those at home. We're gonna be doing some cool little stuff, just some stretching routines, and then a little bit of strengthening as well. Before we get into our agility ladders, we gotta start stretching it out, right? And so some fun five or six little exercises that you can do are with the volleyball. First and foremost, if you got a, a good distance of about 30 feet, you can step it back, toe up, get a good three second hold, Really stretch out that calf and the hamstring. Walk it out three steps to the other side. Another one, get all the way down. If you can reach over that toe and get a good little stretch, walk it out three steps again. Go down and back. Do about five on each side. Once you get done with that one, we can get into quad stretch. Hold it for three seconds. Ball in one hand. Walk it out three steps. Put the ball in the other hand. Always making sure that we're touching that volleyball and getting connection with it. Boom, walk it out three steps again to the other side. After you do that, you can get a nice little lunge, twist to the outside, whatever leg that you lunge with, you're always gonna twist that, bring it back up, step, lunge, twist the outside, on through, do that one. All these about five or six on each side. Next one you can do, go on down, get a good T, Leg comes up, ball lowered down, walk it out three steps to the other side, go on down, boom. Final one, legs slightly outside, shoulder width apart, just get a nice 10 squats like we did before. All the way down, all the way up. Good time to connect with the volleyball, get some strengthening, get some movements, stretch it out, get that lactic acid moving, and we'll be up with agility ladders next year. Second exercise for you guys to do is with your good buddy, the agility ladder, one of my favorites. You don't need an agility ladder at home like I have. You can use it a couple different ways. One, you can be in an unfinished portion of your basement. You can take painter's tape, draw out the agility ladder, always looking for 10 to 12 boxes on that ladder. Put your feet in, put a line in front, just step over that line, put another line all the way down, 10 to 12 boxes. Or you can be outside on your driveway with some sidewalk chalk. Draw it all the way around, got your agility ladder. I'm gonna give you about six or seven exercises you can do right now. Put my ball down, nice and easy. You're gonna go slow to fast on this agility ladder. First one is gonna be two footed hops all the way through, making sure you're in a good athletic position. After you get done with them, you can go single leg two, single leg, always stand upright with your body. Go left foot on down as well. Get onto the side of the ladder. You can go in, in, out, out, two in, two out. Always starting with the same foot, direction that you're going, switch sides. Next one you can do is icky shuffle, two in, two out. Going all the way down these ladders. Try to do it two times for each movement that you have. Last but not least, try a little bit of one in, two out, changing foot inside every single time. And there you have it. There's about a thousand of these on, you can do on the internet. Google them, agility ladder drills. You can go all the way down. Try to get about 10 to 15 minutes a day. Last thing you can do at home is a little bit of strength and foam rolling. All you need is your volleyball again. With the foam rolling aspect, you can use a baseball, a tennis ball. You can use a foam roller, of course, whatever you want to do. First one is going to be nice and easy. Just be push-ups on the volleyball. One hand with the ball, the other hand here. And really doing some push-ups. Rolling it onto the other side and going the other way. After you're done there, we can do some planks on the volleyball. Put the ball down, nice and easy. Good 30 to seconds to 45 seconds. Really holding it, being strong. If you want to get even more creative, you can lift up that leg every single time and even accentuate it even more. And last but not least, get on the ground. Foam roll it out. Make sure you get those hip flexors. Make sure you get those glutes, get it on the back. Really foam roll it out. Obviously a foam roller would be better, but any different exercise you can do, bring it on down, get it into your calves, back of the calves, into the hamstrings, and don't forget those IT bands as well. Get on ground, 
and get the IT bands as well. Just trying to get that lactic acid moving out and getting stronger so when we get back on the court, you're ready to rock and roll. The sun is shining, you're at home, getting better as a volleyball player and as an athlete. Make sure you're going through these drills. It's been a lot of fun, getting a good workout, getting a good sweat in. Remember, do those stretches. Make sure you're getting the agility ladder work in. Make sure you're foam rolling down and get a little bit of strength workout as well. Reminder, tag us at HPSTL. Make sure you're sending those videos in and those pictures in. And hashtag us at high P at home, H-I-P-A-T-H-O-M-E. And make sure you send all these in. It's good to see you guys. Hopefully see you again in the gym here soon. It's been fun. Later.